Hello and welcome to the week six voice thread activity. I just want to give you a little bit of an overview about the resource itself and then I want to show you how you can add your comments to fulfill the requirements of this week's class activity. VoiceThread is an online resource that aligns nicely with the Common Core State Standards in English Language Arts, specifically the speaking and listening strand. Um, it allows you as a teacher to really focus on comprehension and collaboration in particular, and activities that you engage students in can begin as early as the kindergarten level. It's a really simple resource to use and definitely expand to higher grades and with increasing complexity uh, where you can do an awful lot with it. Beyond producing audio media, the Common Core State Standards also indicate that students should be able to process information that is presented in oral formats. So VoiceThread can actually be used for both. It is a free resource, so if you just go to the VoiceThread website, you can start using it and have your students use or create accounts as well. But if you purchase a class license, then you can create and manage groups, allowing students to see and comment on their peers' creations. So a one-month license with up to 50 accounts is just $15, or you can purchase an annual license for $79, which is still pretty inexpensive. But VoiceThread is now included as a resource in the most recent edition of Blackboard. So instead of navigating directly to the VoiceThread site, we will be accessing it via Blackboard. So to begin, you're going to navigate to the Week 6 VoiceThread link. You'll see a VT, which indicates that it is a VoiceThread document. You'll click the hyperlink, and it will take a couple seconds to fully load. So you just have to be patient while that happens. You will see a description over on the left. Um, it tells you that you're required to leave four comments on the voice thread. And then over on the right is the actual voice thread. This is just a series of slides. Each slide is a screenshot of the title of one of the articles or videos that you were reading for today. And you can navigate by using the uh, arrow here on the bottom to go back and forth between the various slides. So if I want to actually add a comment to let's say slide one, I do that by clicking the comment button and it gives me several options. The ABC is what I would click if I wanted to type a text comment directly into the slide. The phone is kind of neat because you can click that and it will allow you to type a phone number and after you type the phone number in, VoiceThread will actually call that particular number and when you answer it'll walk you through a real simple series of commands that allow you to record directly from your phone. You can also record using a microphone attached to your computer um, by clicking on this icon. This one would allow you to record using your built-in webcam. And then this one would allow you to upload a comment that you've typed into a word process document. So it gives you several different options. If you want to type text in, you click the ABC and then you can just type your comments click Save, and it's going to give you a message if you haven't been to VoiceThread before about adding an image to identify you. I would encourage you to do that because that's what your class members are going to see over here on the left. So you can either click on the camera to record an image immediately or you can click the upload button to upload any image of you that you would like to represent yourself. Um, for now I'm just going to close that but I, I do encourage you to add an image like I said. So once your comment is recorded, you will see a little representation of that. So if other people have already commented, you'll see a little avatar for each of them. And on your own, it allows you to edit if you click the pencil, or you can click on the trash can to delete it and start over. Um, so that's pretty simple. If you wanted to add a second comment anywhere, just navigate to the slide. Uh, remember you can only record, well, theoretically you could record as many comments per slide as you want to, um, but you need to be sure that each of the four required responses is on a different slide. But just to save time, I'm going to click on the comment button again. And if you choose the microphone, 
you will get a message about Adobe Flash Player. Just click Allowed. And then it prompts you. And you will now start recording. And so it's recording until you click on the Stop Recording button. And it plays back <laughs> so that you can hear it. And it gives you the option to either cancel or save. I'm going to save. And then it will show another icon over here. So again, you can click on the trash can if you want to get rid of it. Um, again, it's asking for an image because I didn't put one in before. Um, so it's going to have a little icon here for every comment on the page. And when somebody else navigates, it will automatically start playing back their audio recordings immediately. VoiceThread saves automatically, so you don't have to do anything special when you're adding your text or um, adding your audio, except if it is audio, you have to save each one of them. And then when you're ready to submit the assignment for grading, click the Submit Assignment button up here, and it tells you that the assignment is submitted. Um, so that's about all that it takes to be able to get your document completed and submitted to me. I will grade it after you've had a chance to review all of the comments that other people have contributed. So that's it. It's a pretty simple resource to use. Later in the semester I'll actually have you engage in an activity where you create the slides yourself and add some narration. Um, but this is kind of a good first one to begin with to get you used to it and maybe even get you thinking about how you might want to use VoiceThread with your own students. Enjoy and if you have questions definitely let me know.